Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our ESL time boys and girls. Don't forget, apaguen el español, Shh. turn on English. Shh. All right boys and girls, well today we're going to add and review one more letter to our letters and that is the letter F. Our key word is fire. In Spanish, we would say fuego. And again, that sound would be boys and girls. So let's go ahead and just review our letters to get some of that practice in. If you're at home, do them with me. Today, I've got them a little bit out of order, okay? All right. This is the letter C. Our key word would be camera, like k, k. The letter U like our picture, universe, you, you. The letter S, like our keyword, sun, s, s. Our letter O, like our keyword, ocean, o, o. Our letter D, like our word, doctor, d, d. Our letter I, like iguana, e, e. Our letter M, like mom, m, m. Our letter B, like in bat, b, b. Our letter N, like in nest, n, n. Our letter A, like in animals, a, a. Our letter P, like in piano, p, p. Our letter T, like in tomato, t, t. Our letter E, like in elephant, e, e. Our letter G, like in goose, g, g. Good job, boys and girls. Well, today, I also want to go ahead and I want to go over some new antonyms. And so to go over some new antonyms, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write some up here for us, boys and girls. Today, like if we're playing a game in one of the sports that we like, if we said when the opposite, remember, the opposite of when then would be to lose. Win and lose. If I said that maybe I love a certain sport, love, the opposite would be, well, maybe somebody else doesn't love it and they hate that sport because they love something else. Love and hate. If I went ahead and I said the word friend, maybe I have a friend on my team, a friend, but the opposite, the antonym would then be, if that person's not my friend, then they are my enemy. Okay. If I have my coach, my coach, like every sport, has a coach who's leading, guiding us, instructing us. Well, the opposite then of the coach would be the player. The player is the person playing and the coach is the one who is training. And then if I said maybe, oh wow, we lost the game. And maybe you wanted to cry, that would be one. But if it was the opposite and maybe you actually won, the opposite of cry would be to laugh. To laugh. 
let's say if I went ahead and I said, oh, I'm really happy because we won. Then if I lost, I would be really sad. And then, you know, when we're playing a sport, we might start off with our uniforms being real clean, but by the end of the evening, they might be really dirty. And then, our last one would be then, you know, when we are out there and uh, we are going to a sport, we're going to play. But the opposite of play, boys and girls, is work. You know, it takes work to also be able to do everything that we do uh, when we're playing a sport. So boys and girls, again, these are opposites. But we have another name for them, and they're called antonyms. They're the opposite of one another. So they don't have the same meaning, boys and girls. So let's find out today what happens in our story of who was Jim Thorpe. And again, I'm going to take us to the table of contents. And today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at what a kick on page 14. And then we're going to kind of look at what a glossary and an index are on page 16. All right, boys and girls, let me go ahead and get us there. And our title says, what a kick. Describe playing sports in front of a large crowd. Well, boys and girls, some boys and girls kind of get a little bit nervous when they've got, look at how many people were back there. Lots of fans are cheering you on, but at the same time, if they're on the opposite side, they could be booing too. But it's always exciting to have that many people that are watching you, boys and girls. You don't want to make a mistake, but sometimes it happens and it can't be helped. Here, we're going to see again, this is another photograph. I see it looks like a football right here, and it looks like he's possibly going to kick it. Well, here it says, Jim loved football. It was his favorite sport. He played professionally until he was 41 years old. He loved to show off his kicking. He could stand at one goal and kick the ball a hundred yards to the other goal. George thinks Jim had powerful legs. I bet some of you, you've got powerful legs too and you can do things like that, boys and girls. Well, that was a lot of information that we learned about Jim Thorpe. But I want to take you to the glossary. And the glossary is normally found in the back of a book that's giving us a lot of facts, uh, an informational book. Um, and boys and girls, here we have some words that we actually saw uh, on cards that I've been showing you this past week. And we also have a little section that says index. And on the index, that's what I wanted to introduce you to. You know, if I wanted to find out about a champion, I would go to page 3. If I wanted to find out about horses, I would go to page 5. You know, if it said the word kick anywhere in the story, it did two times because it was on pages 14 and 15. I could just turn to those pages and it would show me a little bit more information. Well, what did you learn, boys and girls? If you could meet Jim Thorpe today, what would you ask him? All right, boys and girls, talk about it with someone at home. Think about that. If you could meet him today, then what would you ask him? All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story of Who is Jim Thorpe. We'll see you next week. Bye.